so excited about this dish. Some people think cabbage is boring and you know, sometimes it can be, but not this dish. We're gonna get a little grapeseed oil. You wanna use a high heat oil for this because the coals are obviously very, very warm. We're gonna go a little bit on the bottom, place the cabbage up there. We're gonna pour it over the top and kind of roll that around. You're gonna season it pretty heavy on the outside because the inner leaves aren't gonna catch much salt. And you can do this at home with a regular oven, but you're not, you're not gonna get the smoky, charred flavor of, a, of the good hard wood. So I'm gonna put them stem side down here and just tightly wrap that guy. And you wanna keep the top of the little vent and also so the juice doesn't run out of the cabbage. So now we got our two things prepped and we're gonna go over to the, the Hasty Bake here and drop those things in. And like I said, if you don't, you know, if you don't have a charcoal grill, you can just, you can throw that in the oven, 450 degrees. So you can, you can hear those things down in there sizzling already. So what we're going to do is just put these babies to bed for a minute. So we're going to go with the ginger to start. Just going to smash that down a little bit. I want this whole thing to be rustic and big because, you know, it's a whole cabbage that we're doing here. Big chunks of spicy ginger in there. And we're gonna go in with our Fresno chili, seed that guy out. You can leave the seeds in there if you like. A little rough chop on the chili. Then we're gonna go in with the garlic. A little smash, a little chop. And we go half a shallot. So rough cut on the shallot as well. And then we're gonna do we're gonna do a whole lime in here. That acidity from the lime is gonna macerate those and soften up, soften the shallot and garlic and ginger a little bit. Rice wine vinegar, seasoned, you could do it non-seasoned. Seasoned just means a little bit of sugar in there. Just to put a little sweetness in this. And then a tiny bit, just, I'm gonna use the cap so I don't wipe out and add too much. So we got half a teaspoon in there. You can do more if you like, but this stuff goes a long way. Now we're gonna add our fish sauce, about two tablespoons. Beautiful sriracha, love this stuff. Got a tablespoon there. We're gonna add a little bit of soy here. Just a tablespoon. And then for our secret ingredients, a little bit of coconut milk here. That's gonna add a really nice richness to it. And then for the real secret, we're gonna do some organic crunchy peanut butter. And this is just gonna thicken this vinaigrette, give it a really nice viscosity and make it stick to the grilled cabbage. So that was about three tablespoons there. Don't wanna waste any. Mm. No, I can't talk. Then we're gonna whisk in a little bit of our grapeseed oil. You don't want too much of this. It's not gonna emulsify and really thicken it. You just want just a little bit of richness to it. That's probably about three tablespoons. Now we're gonna taste it first before we add any salt because a lot of these products like the soy and the fish sauce carry quite a bit of salt to them. Plenty of salt. But we will add some pepper. So we're done with the vinaigrette. We're gonna get in there and check the cabbage. It's been in there for about 25 minutes or so. Oh, it smells. It smells done and delicious. Pick that little sucker up. So if you wanna check this dish, it's super easy to do. You just take your knife and just give it a little stab in there. If you don't get a bunch of resistance, you're done. Holy cow, look at that. I mean, just dripping. Whoa, and it's hot, really hot. So what we also have in the share this week is some basil and some cilantro. And what I'm gonna do is a really rough cut and also these green onions. So I'm gonna put them all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cabbage now in, in half. And then we're gonna go in thirds with this guy. Stem and all, I love the stem inside. We're actually gonna quarter each half. Just gonna arrange it nicely here. Bright, spicy, rich vinaigrette. And let it seep down into those cabbage leaves there. I mean, this cabbage will really eat up this vinaigrette. Now we're gonna drape our gorgeous, fragrant herbs on there. Chuck them all on there. Get in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our crushed peanuts on here. What we also have too is some 
of these chili threads. And this is just gonna add that nice color, a little bit of texture, crunch, spice. Last week or the week before we did some basil oil, but this week I took a little bit of mint and did the same process and we made a mint oil. And this is just gonna finish this dish, give it a really floral, gorgeous flavor to finish. Bit of color there, which is, there's nothing wrong with a little color. So here's our final dish. We have a Robinson Family Farms coal roasted green cabbage finished with fresh herbs, cilantro, basil, some chili threads, crushed peanuts, and a Thai style vinaigrette.